Mr. Land, uh, you're one of the greatest in the country. Um, just talk about uh, the Camp 22 uh, here on the highest of seven hills and, and what you see so far. Um, I, what I see is like a camaraderie, like we coming together and we got a lot of team accountability. We just, this is the closest I've ever seen the team. Like we say family and we always been a family, but at the same time this year, like it's a lot of player led stuff going on and it's going back to the old roots of like my freshman year when we had like real leaders on the team. Before like we have a young team, so a lot of people were like, we were kind of searching for a leader last year. But now we have true leaders on the team to where we could lead ourselves. We don't need coach to address everything. Marquise is in Dallas or in training camp in California with a star on his helmet. Mm -hmm. I see the Chicago Bears here. Mm -hmm. um, you are an All-American and you decided to come back. Just talk a little bit about being at home at FAM and what you want to do to continue to be a great player that you are. Um, it feels great to stay here at FAMU. You know, this is my first college, first and only college practice football field. You know, I remember looking up, looking around, looking at my freshman dorm back in 2018 and like just, just remembering like this is where I came from. And I remember seeing like old school pictures of the old FAMU, like with Coach um, Brad, who was it, Coach? Jake Gaither. Gaither, so Gaither. And he, uh, it was like pictures of them on the field and I could recognize the field. And I was like, like it just, it, I feel legendary to be on this field. And like we brought back the, the static, like the, the juice that the old family used to have where they came through winning championships back to back. And I just feel it's good to be a part of this and be a part of the legacy of FAMU. You have another great schedule um, at the Tar Heels. You'll see J Jackson State down in Miami Gardens. Um, another great SWAC schedule and uh, the Florida Classic and a, a brand new, you know, stadium renovations. Talk about a great time at FAM and the thought process going in. Uh, well, the process going in, well, the first year I came as, as, a, as a red shirt, FAM, you were just coming from a 3-8 and eight season, and it was all of our first year, including Coach Simmons and the staff. And what he told us is when we start winning, we could turn this program around, we could get the stuff that we always wanted to and the things we dreamed of having once we got to college football. When we first got here, we didn't all work out and had the same clothes to work out and we didn't have the same shoes. We barely had ice for practices. But now we see like the more wins that we bring every season, it shows the more support we get. We've gotten new, since I've been here, we got a new locker room, new weight room, new hallways. We got like we went from one trainer on the staff to like six. And it just shows like the how they leveled up and how we've been a part of the like building FAMU. HBCU has been around since the 1800s. Here we are in 2022, and like you said, you, things are improving. Just talk about HBCU for you personally, the FAMU way, and as you move forward in life, the education, the football, and you'll be one of those guys, I'm going to say it now, that's going to play on Sundays. Yes, sir. Um, well, being a part of FAMU, it showed me like even without football, I could be successful. A FAMU is known for a lot of people like graduating from FAMU, and they might have not have been famous when they got here, but later, years down the road, they become millionaires and famous celebrities and actors and stuff like that. So it just shows that like I'm a part of greatness just being here. So I could, I could be more than just a football player when I go to FAMU, and the, the culture of FAMU just feels like a family. Like when I'm over on the other side of campus, not including football, I still get a family type feeling. I feel like. Every function that FAMU has, it's more like a, more like a family cookout versus like a, like a school event. It feels like a family event. Last question: Is there anything you want to tell the Rattlers Nation uh, before the season starts about camp, yourself, your teammates, the family? Anything you want to say? Um, the only thing I can tell the family is that you know we coming, we trying to come for a championship. We trying to bring FAMU a SWAC championship and get a celebration bowl before we get up out of here. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir.